Welcome back guys, behind me you are just uh, seeing a Kukorin G3 review which we done a few months ago guys and today we'll be testing Kukorin G2. Guys, it's really great time to review and promote this scooter on my YouTube channel Tech Utopia. My team today, Aydin Ibrahim, will be testing Kukorin G2 guys and you're not gonna believe it, on banggood.com the scooter is around 450 euros which makes it number one scooter in the world guys 800 watts of power by the way the peak power goes all the way to up to 1200 it's a single motor around 30 newton meter of torque guys and the speed is you're not gonna believe it up to 55 kilometer per hour guys that's insane 15 and 48 watts battery uh, and of course it is a foldable scooter with a 10 inch tires it's very tall so tall people around maybe 195 centimeter will be comfortable Above that, I think not, but again, it's an amazing scooter, guys. Don't go anywhere. In this video, you're gonna find everything. I hope you're gonna enjoy this episode. I think it's gonna be one of the best scooter reviews on my YouTube channel, Tech Utopia. The big shout out for the Banggood. The links will be in the description and maybe even a discount coupon, 10, 20 bucks down. Let's begin. An electric scooter that's fast, affordable, and made for both city commutes and off-road trails. Sounds like a dream, right? The Kukurin G2 promises exactly that with a powerful motor, long-lasting battery and tech-forward features, all under 500 euros. Today, we'll break down what makes it shine and where it could be better, so you know exactly what to expect. Designed for convenience and durability, the Kukurin G2 measures 125.8 with 66 with 126 cm, making both spacious and easy to handle. Its 26 kilo weight is carefully balanced to be tough enough for rugged rides, but still portable when folded. With a simple one-button fold, the scooter compacts for easy storage in tight spaces like trunks or small closets. Built from strong yet lightweight materials, the frame can take an urban routes as well as rougher trails. Its IP54 water resistance rating means it's protected from dust and light rain, adding a layer of durability in varied riding conditions. Occupied with a powerful 800 watt hub motor that peaks at 1200 watts, the Kukunin G2 delivers quick acceleration and a steady driving force. With 29 newton meter of torque, it's capable on moderate slopes, handling inclines up to 20 degrees. Though it may slow on steeper hills with riders over 100 kg like myself. The sine wave acceleration gives smooth, responsive shift across three modes. A casual 15 km per hour, 25 km per hour for regular commuting and up to 55 km per hour on open stretches with the lighter loads for faster travel. Obviously, if you are more than 100 kg, I think you're gonna get around 45 to 50 kilometers per hour, which is insanely fast again, under 500 euros. Powered by a 48 watt 15 amp lithium battery, the Kukurin G2 offers impressive battery life, allowing for a range of up to 55 km on a single charge, provided you ride at a moderate speed with a 65 km kg load. This range makes it ideal for both daily commute and longer weekend rides without frequent recharging. By the way, charging takes around 8 to 9 hours. It is downside to be honest. 2024 20, and 9 hours is very long. Again, it is not that bad if you sleep over and leave it for the morning. So it is ready to be, of course, used for your day commute. Compatible with the standard outlets ranging from 100 to 240 back 50 or 60 Hz. It's convenient for international use, giving it strong versatility. For its price range, the battery life is a good thing. Not something to praise, not something obviously to complain about. The Kukurin G2 is occupied with a durable 10 inch off-road vacuum tires, designed to reduce the risk of punctures and ensure stability on a range of surfaces. These tires grip well on city asphalt and rougher terrains like gravel or dirt paths, adding safety control. Alongside the sturdy tires, the G2 has front and rear spring shock absorbers, which soften the impact on bumpy roads and make the ride smoother. 
This dual suspension system is ideal for urban commuting and light off-road adventures, making rides more comfortable and stable. For best performance, it's suited to even surfaces or moderate trails over extremely rough terrain. Safety is a priority with the Kukurin G2, thanks to its front and rear disc brakes paired with an E brake. This responsive braking system can stop the scooter within 4 to 10 meters, giving you reliable control for sudden stops. The G2 also features a bright LED headlight for clear visibility at night, along with turn signals to let others know your directions changes behind you. The Kukurin G2's intelligent control system puts everything you need right on a high-definition touchscreen display. Real-time data like speed, battery life millage and gear are clearly displayed, so you're always informed. The touchscreen is intuitive, making it easy to switch between speed modes, view past ride stats and adjust brightness to match your surroundings. With quick access to essential controls, riders can fine-tune their ride for comfort, efficiency and safety, all with just a tap. Unfortunately, this scooter doesn't come with the app functionality. With a maximum load capacity of 120 kg, the Kukurin G2 accommodates most riders comfortably. For those under 100 kg, it performs the best, especially on hills. The scooter's 29 mm torque allows it to handle inclines up to 20 degrees, though riders over 100 kg might experience slower speeds on steeper slopes. Again, not something to praise about it, guys, to be honest. On flat or moderately inclined surfaces, the G2 delivers smooth and efficient power, mating both speed and battery life. Staying within a recommended load range ensures optimal performance, making ideal for commute and recreational rides alike. While the Kukurin G2 handles moderate inclines well, slopes about 20 degrees can reduce acceleration, especially for riders over 100 kg. And I tested it guys, indeed it does slow down and sometimes you have to get out of this rider scooter and just walk with it. Its 26 kilo weight may also be bulky to carry often, but given the price and strong performance, the speed and the beautiful design, it's still a great option overall. For me personally, my choice, my taste, I would say is the number one selling scooter right now on Banggood.com, less than 450 euros. Buy it, don't miss it. Let us know what you think of the Kukurin G2 in the comments below, especially if you already have the scooter. Thank you for watching Techutopia and see you in the next video guys. Ma salam.